Welcome back to Cork and Board, ladies and gentlemen, where we pair good food with good wine. Now, in developing this episode, I realized that my tastes in wine are ever-expanding, and I need a way to codify what I'm tasting because I'm starting to expand outside of my depth. So I decided I needed some form of standardized test to develop a baseline and get a feel of, okay, these grapes are going to taste this kind of way, these ones are going to have the following flavor profile, so on and so forth. And I thought, you know, probably the best way to do this is with a charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards are a great way to have an appetizer at a party, they're great with wine, and all you need are a couple of cold cuts, some cheese, and maybe a little bit of fruit. And hopefully this is going to give a nice wide range of flavor profiles that I can then test individually with the wine and give a more robust profile on those flavors. So let's get into today's wine. We have got with us a Spanish 2016 Grenache. This is completely new to me and what we're going to do is I'm going to first take a baseline of the wine itself, as usual, and then we're going to go through little bits of each individual piece and give a quick flavor profile. So, let's dive on in. Ooh! There's almost a spiciness to that wine, something I would expect more in a Syrah, but it's not as intense. It's very soft and but still with that spicy element. So very interesting to get started. Now let's have just a little bit of the tomato, which is gonna give a sweet but slightly acidic feel to it. Interesting, the acid is coming a lot farther forward in the mouth. I'm puckering a little bit more. It almost tastes more like a Chianti when I've had that tomato, very interesting. On to the brie. Let's just have a little slice of that. You can't beat a creamy brie. It's hard to do. Ooh. Not sure that one's the best fit. There's a little bit more of the acidity and the spiciness from the Grenache, and it's really conflicting with the creaminess in this brie. But let's move on to a piece of cheddar cheese, which is gonna be a little bit sharper and hopefully will mix a little bit better with the flavor profile that I'm getting out of this Grenache. Yeah, and as expected, the sharper flavors in the cheddar as opposed to the softer flavors in the brie are really harmonizing a lot more with the more acidic and more spicy elements in this Grenache that I'm getting. So next up we have the Cacciatore Italian sausage, which should provide a bit more of a baseline as it's more of a traditional mild sausage. There's a very savory taste in cacciatore. I'm really enjoying it right on its own, but let's see how it works with the Grenache. Again, more like a Chianti. We're, we're getting a lot more of the acidity forward. There's a little bit more savoriness than with the tomato, but it's still giving me more of that flavor, flavor profile. And now on to the spicy Italian salami. This one isn't quite as spicy as I was hoping for. I was expecting something a little bit more forward, but this one's giving a very low, slow burn, and it's just starting to hit me right now as I'm talking to you right at the back of my throat. So, now spice usually accents the feeling of alcohol in wine. Let's see if that's true with this Grenache. Wow. That's really harmonious. I'm getting a very slick, very smooth feel in this. That's actually a really nice combination right there. But we've got one last thing to do on our tasting, and that is a nice little slice of strawberry and see how adding a sweet element influences this wine. That's actually quite good as well. The sweetness is taking away some of the sweetness present in the Grenache itself and really letting the full flavor profile come through in bold notes. It's really accentuating that spicy feel a little bit, but without turning it into an overpowering nature. 
We have one last element I almost forgot about, and that is to have the wine-flavored salami. So this one is a Chianti and fennel. Very common. Fennel gives a bit more of a licorice feel to it, and Chianti is going to probably up the acidity, but also give just a little bit more of a wine flavor that hopefully will meld well with this Grenache. So let's take a look. There's a fattier and almost sweeter taste, even compared to the mild cacciatore in this red wine salami. So hopefully that's going to meld well, but let's find out. And it makes it taste like a Chianti, which is very interesting. So what do I really think about this Grenache? I think this is going to mature very nicely over the next couple of years, but it is still incredibly drinkable now. It's going to be fairly versatile. You're gonna get a decent wine to drink, regardless of what you're adding, whether it's acidic, whether it's spicy, whether it's sweet. Personally, I'm leaning more towards the sweet and spicy side of things, so this is something that I might have Oddly enough, with like an Asian stir fry or something. And maybe we'll bring it back for something like that. The only thing I'd avoid is a creamy, soft element such as a cooked brie, because that, it's just a conflict of flavor in there. But overall, I'm enjoying this wine. It gives me a bit more of an idea of what a Grenache tastes like. And that's good. So thank you guys for joining me along for this very different format to the show. I am thinking I would want to do this maybe once every two months or 10 episodes. So please drop a comment down below if you like this format or if you don't. I want to know what you guys are thinking and see if this is a format we'd like to see going forward. Thank you guys as always. Be sure to pour over that subscribe button and to like these videos and we will see you on the next one. Take care.